First question is from Ansari Jr. My joints always seem to be hurting. I work out four to five times a day, take fish oil, and stay hydrated throughout the day. Am I doing something wrong? Four mm. to five times a day? Uh, that's probably that's what it says. I'm sure he was a typo. I hope so. Because then maybe that's why your joints are... <laughs> yeah, that's it. That explains everything right yeah, there. You might be working yeah. out too much. <laughs> Back off the workouts. <laughs> the, the, here's the places that I would look with clients who had um, pain, you know, kind of chronic issue, pain in their joints. Oh, by the way, there's, there's two general types of pain. There's the chronic variety. This is where like, oh, my knee's been hurting. It's been bothering me on and off for the last five years. And there's the, there's the acute variety where it's like, my knee hurts. Why does it hurt? Yesterday, I twisted it, so I'm actually injured. Mm. So I'm going to assume that this person, and he says always seem to be hurting. Yeah, chronic. Has the chronic uh, variety. So the first place I would look is movement. Always. Uh, you know, your, your joints uh, will last you your lifetime, mm. and they'll feel relatively good your whole life if they're moving optimally. There mm. is an optimal way. And they're way. supported. That's right. If they're moving in an optimal way, then they should do, be doing pretty well. It's like, um, you know, this reminds me of a story. So, you know, years ago when I bought my first house, there were some doors that were hung already. I had to remodel the whole house, but there were some old doors that I didn't change. And the doors just kept making sounds and noises every time I'd open and close them. I'd grease them up and they'd keep doing it. Finally, I had my dad come over to look at it and he goes, well, this, the way that these things are hung, the joints, the the, the hinges are being stressed more than they should be. And it's this is the reason why they're grinding and making all this noise and why right. the door isn't opening and closing the way it is. We have to set this up so that the hinges work optimally. Okay, so that's like your joints. If your joints are moving in suboptimal ways, they are going to cause, they are going to have pain over time. So Poor mobility is usually is always the first place that I look uh, when I would have a client. Well, and pain. and and to that point, taking supplements for it is like oiling it, so it's fixing the the squeak for the moment, but it's still not fixing the root cause. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're going to use supplements to help aid that, which I think is there's definitely value in that, but you can't stop there. You can't just take your fish oil, take your turmeric, take something like that. Uh, and then that think that resolves the problem. The problem is in the way your body is moving. And this is, you know, this is where Maps Prime Pro came yeah. from. I mean, this is why we created this. It's designed to uh, address every major joint in the body. Uh, there's a test for it to see if uh, how you do. Uh, and then there's movements uh, connected to it that you should do to uh, perform uh, better mechanics and to support that that joint. Yeah, this is where the conversation of posture, you know, really comes into play and like really understanding how to line yourself up and stack your spine properly to where uh, everything is is in an optimal position. So what does that even look like to start? A lot of times people don't even put that kind of work in before then trying to, uh, you know, go through these movements and put stress on them by adding weight. So uh, it, it is one of those things like, or, or over time, it's, it's something that was very subtle, very, very subtle angle or something that was a little less optimal that over time, you know, the, the volume of it has, you know, created this pain and created this, you know, signal of your body of like wear and tear. And so to be able to come back and address it, you really need to dive into that specific joint how it's functioning, what your end ranges are, like how much strength you can, uh, you know, connect to. So how, how connected are you uh, in rotating it, moving it, getting, you know, flexion extension uh, and seeing what the quality of that is and then really staying there and, and trying to express that even further. Yeah, think of it this way. So think of a sliding uh, screen door or a sliding glass door. And when you look under the door, there's a track. <clears throat> And then there's the door glides along that track. And typically there's like a little wheel that it glides on. And if the door is balanced, it'll slide back and forth on that track and it'll do pretty well for a while. Now imagine if that door, there, were pre there was pressure on that sliding door pushing it back. There's just enough pressure to push it back to where rather than balancing right on the track, it's grinding a little bit on the side because there's a little bit of pressure there. Now, initially, you might not notice the problem. You slide the, the sliding glass door or the screen on and on. You don't notice the problem. But over time, because that, ba that door is not balanced and moving perfectly or optimally on that track, over time, you start to create problems. The wheel starts to grind. It starts to roll improperly. And over time, you start to, to, to cause problems. This is what happens to your joints. Now, oftentimes, it's not the joint itself that's the problem. Oftentimes, if your knee hurts, 
It's not because the muscles on the, around the knee aren't doing what they're supposed to. Oftentimes, it's because surrounding joints aren't moving properly, and your knee joint is just compensating. It's just doing more than it should, more than it needs to, and this can cause lots of issues. So that's the first place that I would always look, and I had a lot of success with this. I would say seven, you know, 70% or 80% of the time, I could successfully get someone's joint pain to get a lot better just through working mobility. There's a, there's, there is a diet component too, though. Yeah. Um, I noticed this with myself. When my diet is poor and it's, it's in an inflammatory diet, if I drink a lot of alcohol or I eat a lot of processed foods or I'm not well hydrated, I can also start to feel stiff mm. and start to feel pain. It restricts pain. Mu- movement and, and causes more pain. And I think that you know lowering that inflammation is something to consider. Right. And then you have this like this, this feedback loop where it's like, okay, I'm stiff because I'm eating foods that promote inflammation in my body. Sometimes it's a food intolerance. Other times it's just a general overall bad diet. Now, because I'm stiff because of that, I'm moving in a way to try to avoid that pain. But now I'm creating movement patterns that are also not ideal. So now I'm actually causing joint pain. So then you get this kind of spiraling effect that causes more and more pain over time. Well, that's the the value of the supplements, right? That's the value of using something to help aid, bring down inflammation. So you then can go put in the work. Yes. It's like foam rolling. Like we talk about too. It's like, it's another tool. you're, You're alleviating something temporarily right now, but it doesn't mean you're not fixing the problem like so you in order to fix the problem you have to go to the movement but there is value in using tools like that to bring down yes now when it comes to you know working with inflammation trying to bring it down through taking something you have the like really strong over-the-counter drug uh, options which are the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen uh, is a good example aleve uh, you know naproxen is another good example now, the problem with those is that they block inflammation. They don't modulate inflammation. Blocking inflammation, very strong anti-inflammatory effect, very strong. Mm. My pain is, wow, it's way better. You take an Aleve or you take- well, you Isn't know, that hard on the liver too over time? It is. It's not only that though. Blocking inflammation can actually pro, uh, promote problems in the future. Studies now show that the chronic use of anti-inflammatory drugs- causes joint degeneration or joints to degenerate faster because inflammation is essential to send a signal to your body or as part of the process of the body to repair and heal. So, uh, and for example, there's other studies that show taking anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen post-workout reduces the muscle building effect yeah. because you're, you're, you're blocking the signal. You're not modulating it. So inflammation, you want appropriate levels. You don't want it to be gone. I like supplements for this because if you take a supplement, for example, um, Organifi's Move supplement is phenomenal for this. I've been using that and I love the way it works. So it has ingredients like uh, high potency turmeric. It's got holy basil in there. Pine bark. Pine bark, which contains pycnogenol. All of these things have been shown to modulate inflammation. So they don't hammer inflammation like ibuprofen would, but they help your body produce a more appropriate inflammatory response. Now, that being said... If you're not drinking enough water, you're not getting good sleep, and you have a really shitty diet, uh, it's like you're 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 putting a band aid on a problem. It'll help, but it's not going to help enough to overcome your poor diet and all that stuff. It, but if you do work on your diet, you do work on mobility. I do think supplements like Organifi's Move, maybe throw some fish oil on top of that in high doses if that's appropriate for you. Boy, they they can make a pretty substantial difference. I've noticed huge differences in myself. Um, and then my clients, that's usually, that's my approach typically is like, okay, we're going to go mobility. Yeah. We're going to look at diet, hydration, Definitely and sleep. Mobility. And then we're going to throw some supplements that can help with this kind of temporary high inflammatory state so that we can move better uh, in our workouts.